Hey, it's Reese, and over the past year, I've been building this CNC machine with the end goal of being able to cut out surfboards on it. So I'm trying to make a surfboard shaping machine. And traditionally with uh, CNC machines, you use this uh, kind of MDF board to clamp down your work pieces onto it. So um, whatever you're gonna cut out, you would kind of clamp it down onto this wasteboard, uh, with either screwing it in or using uh, cam clamps and to stop the workpiece from moving around while you're cutting it. But the problem with surfboards is that they're curved. So you can't really clamp it down onto something flat because as soon as you start cutting up near the nose, it's gonna start lifting up the tail. And as soon as you start cutting near the tail, it's gonna start lifting up the nose. And uh, it just doesn't work well cutting out really curvy things on a flat surface. So I'm going to have to build a special support fixture specifically designed for cutting surfboards out. Majority of surfboard shaping machines that I have seen use a system where they have uh, vertical posts that can slide up and down um, to different heights and match the rocker of the surfboard that you're trying to cut out. And on top of these posts, um, they put suction cups on it so that the board is being sucked down onto the posts and it doesn't fall off while you're cutting the board out. And so basically what my plan is, is I've got these four 80-20 um, slider pieces and I'm going to put in some vertical aluminum extrusions like this and I can slide these up and down and lock them into place to match the rocker of the board that I'm going to cut out. And these also slide side to side. And then on top of these posts, I'm going to put a suction cup to suck the board onto. And this is 3D printed. And then I'm going to have to set up a, a vacuum system so that I can actually use the suction cups. So <laughs> the plan is to build four of these vertical surfboard suction thingies and set up a vacuum pump so that I can suck the board onto it. And then once I've got that done, I'm going to try cutting out a board for the first time on this machine. Okay, so I just finished the first one of the four surfboard stands. The gist of it is that I've got my post, which can slide up and down using this to match the rocker of the surfboard. And then I have my suction cup on top and there's actually a air tube running down the center of this post and that's connected to a vacuum pump. And then I have these little screw feet on the side and I can actually adjust the height of these to support the sides of the board while you're cutting it. So you kind of just adjust these so the board rests on top of them. So the suction cup will suck the board down onto the post and then these will stop the board from kind of rolling side to side uh, while you're cutting. So I'm just gonna have to make a couple tweaks to this and then take those modifications and make the other three
All right, so here's what I've got going. I've got the vacuum pump, which is connected to a pressure pot, which is connected to uh, all of my surfboard support suction cups. So the suction cups actually work, but there's one problem with them, and that's that they leak air slowly, and they stop sucking after a while. I guess the idea of this is that you can use the vacuum pump to pull a vacuum inside of the pressure pot and then you seal off the pressure pot and then that way you can suck the board onto the suction cups uh, without having to leave the vacuum pump on for the whole time you're cutting out the board. So if I want to do a board right now I'm either going to have to completely seal off all my suction cups which has been a real pain or just leave the vacuum pump on and the whole point of the pressure pot is pointless.